JEA Jacksonville Electric Authority, located in Jacksonville, Florida, is the eighth-largest community-owned electric utility company in the United States and the largest in Florida. As of 2009, JEA serves more than 417,000 electric customers, 305,000 water customers, and 230,000 sewer customers. Besides Jacksonville Duval County, JEA also has customers in Clay, Nassau and St. John's counties. Topic. History Jacksonville's water and sewer systems had been operated by the city since 1880, and they added an electric system in 1895. The electric system grew with the city, but remained a department of city government. In 1968 an independent authority was created at the same time as the consolidation of city and county governments. According to Article 21 of the Jacksonville City Charter, JEA is authorized to own, manage and operate a utilities system within and outside the city of Jacksonville. JEA is created for the express purpose of acquiring, constructing, operating, financing and otherwise have plenary authority with respect to electric, water, sewer, natural gas and such other utility systems as may be under its control now or in the future. During the 1970s, JEA's electric rates were among the highest in the nation. Royce Lyles became JEA Managing Director on September 1, 1979 and the utility began diversifying its fuel mix. Rates began to drop, eventually becoming the lowest in the state and near the bottom in the southeast. Walt Bussels was appointed Managing Director on September 8, 1995, following Royce Lyles' retirement. On June 1, 1997, Jacksonville's Department of Public Utilities, Water and Sewer Operations merged into the Jacksonville Electric Authority. Bustles embraced new technology and in 2002, JEA introduced online bill payment and implemented network meter reading. In 2003, the utility also began providing chilled water for air conditioning in downtown buildings. The first two customers were the Downtown Library and the John Milton Bryan Simpson United States Courthouse. The new Duval County Courthouse, opened in 2012, also uses chilled water. Purchasing chilled water eliminates the need to install chillers and cooling towers at each property, reducing capital outlays and eliminating ongoing maintenance costs. The space saved can also be rentable, increasing revenue. During Bustles's tenure, Jacksonville's electric rates had remained artificially low throughout the 1990s and into the 2000s, despite large expenditures following the water sewer acquisition in 1997, technology improvements, and construction of chilled water equipment. These projects were financed with borrowed money. Jim Dickinson replaced Walt Bussels when Bussels retired on June 15, 2004 after nine years as CEO. Soon after taking over, Dickinson implemented the first of three temporary fuel rate increases to offset rising fuel costs. In 2007, JEA had the second lowest electric rates in Florida before they announced a four-year base rate increase package that would raise the average bill from $112 to more than $140 in 2010. The additional revenue was designed to reduce debt. The utility's debt in 2010 was $6 billion, against assets of $7.5 billion. Compared to other similar-sized municipal utilities, JEA had 60% more debt per customer, which could lower the utility's bond rating and make it more expensive and difficult to borrow money. In early 2012, Dickinson announced that he would retire February 1, 2013. 
On September 7, 2012 JEA Board of Directors named Paul McElroy to fill the role of JEA CEO and Managing Director effective October 1, 2012. In October 2012, Paul McElroy signed a three-year contract to serve as JEA's CEO and this contract has been extended once. It ends in September 2018. In early 2018, Jacksonville City Council became interested in potentially selling the public publicly owned JEA. Topic services Electricity, owns, operates three generating plants and all transmission and distribution facilities, co-owns two additional power plants with Florida Power and Light, the St. John's River Power Park in northeastern Jacksonville, and Unit 4 of Plant Shearer, near Macon, Georgia. JEA also operates a methane-fueled generating facility at the Girvin Road Landfill. Water, 134 artesian wells tapping the Floridan aquifer are distributed through 35 water treatment plants and 4,208 miles 6 kilometers of water lines. Sewer, 3,760 miles 6 kilometers of collection lines and 7 regional and 8 non-regional sewage treatment plants. Chilled Water, the company owns one chiller plant in downtown Jacksonville which provides the commodity to nearby facilities to heat and cool their building's air and equipment. Topic. See also JEA Northside Generating Station Plant Shearer owned in part by JEA List of power stations in Florida.